So we talked about some classic films, some heady artistic films. Why don't we just go back to the meat and potatoes, which is, of course, uh, superhero films. Black Adam is being released this week. Uh, uh, looks like it's starting today. Oh, it's uh, previews. Previews are starting today, and it'll be released everywhere tomorrow, which is Friday the 21st. DC and uh, Warner Brothers Discovery uh, has been advertising this film and hyping this film for months. And so has Dwayne Johnson. He has been on Twitter and going on all sorts of gaming streams and uh, stuff like that, advertising this film. And they want the, and it's clear, they want this to be a huge film. They want this to be a big film. And with a star like Dwayne Johnson, who I think still to this day is the most money-making actor out there right now, they are, they are pretty much expecting this to happen. Well, the reason why I'm saying this is because reviews have been going out and it doesn't look like Black Adam is getting great reviews. I'm going to go on Metacritic right now. Yeah, Black Adam is at a 40 uh, with 38 critic reviews. Uh, that's that's at mixed to average ratings, uh, mixed to average reviews. Uh, critics are pretty much calling it a boilerplate a superhero film, uh, nothing spectacular, nothing really uh, different. It's basically if you're used to the Marvel stuff, you know what to expect here. Is basically what people are saying. I will say for those who defend the DCEU that I do think critics really overstate how good the Marvel movies are, like. On average, those makes like seven. Like, let me look at Thor: Love and Thunder. Okay, Thor: Love and Thunder. Oh, Thor: Love and Thunder got a fifty-seven. Okay, that I agree with. But there are some that got like eighties and nineties. Uh, let's look at Captain Marvel. Yeah, Captain Marvel got a sixty-four. Okay, that's that's a bit generous. But uh, the Marvel movies seem to get a pass sometimes on mediocre movies, whereas the DCU, the DCEU movies get eviscerated. I will say, though, the Joss Whedon version of the Justice League was awful. It was horrible. So I understood exactly why that got terrible reviews. Like, I understood that one, no problem. But, like, Man of Steel... Uh, Batman v Superman: Dawn of Justice. They're not. They're not terrible films, but they're not bad. That got lambasted when it was. Yeah, that got a forty-four from critics on Metacritic. Like that, I think is a little harsh. So, do I think that critics are probably being a little harsh when it comes to Black Adam? That might be a possibility, but. Nothing in the nothing in the trailer and everything they've been showing has not shown me that they were doing something different or it's going to be something special. I mean, they were relying on basically Dwayne Johnson to actually uh, to carry this film to a to pretty much to a large degree. Does it surprise me that the critics are not being too kind? No, not really. I guess the question that I, I would pose is, is Black Adam going to revive the DCEU? And I think it's still a maybe at this point. I mean, Dwayne The Rock Johnson is still a moneymaker in cinema. He, he still makes tons of cash. So we don't know if like his popularity will lead people to go into theaters. And still, people love comic book movies. And there is a fan base that do want DC movies. They do. Unfortunately, they uh, they go see the bad films, but they don't watch the good films because there's The Suicide Squad, the sequel to The Suicide Squad, which was actually very good. I thought it was actually really good that I don't think barely anybody saw because the first Suicide Squad was pretty bad. So... Yeah, there's that. This could still do very well and could revive the DCEU. 
I just don't like the direction DCEU is going, because if they're going to go the Marvel route, I think they're going to have such a hard time. I, I think it's not going to work. I mean, like, I've heard the Batman is pretty good. I haven't seen it yet, so I can't criticize on it. But the the DCU had some strengths. Uh, Aquaman was pretty good. The early, early buzz is that The Flash is actually a good movie. So there is that as well. So we, we have The Flash that might turn out to be pretty good. I know they, I know they canceled Batgirl. And I will still say to this day, if the company that put the money down took a look at it and go... Oh, we're not making our money back. Let's just shit can it. It must have not been good. It, like, and I understand people are mad and want to see a Batgirl movie. But if it was that bad, you know you wouldn't have wanted to see it. Black Adam could work. It, it could save the DCEU. But if the audiences don't like this movie, like if the cinema scores and the buzz on Twitter is that this is mediocre or it's not good from like regular film fans yeah they could be in some trouble this could end up being not very good and this could end up being yeah it could end up being Dwayne Johnson's first box office bomb in a long time and it won't hurt him necessarily but it won't be good that will be that. That will put a dent in the armor uh, of his sterling box office draw. But do I think that it, my thought process when it comes to DCEU is that they shouldn't bother having a continuing story? Like, don't do it. I mean, have Wonder Woman have her own thing. Have Black Adam and Shazam have their own thing. Have Green Lantern have his own thing. You know, just do it that way. And maybe do a crossover where they would meet up in some way, like as a special story. Like, maybe do that. But to go, like, multiverse or to go through the whole storyline that the Marvel Cinematic Universe did, there's only room for one of that. And I don't see anybody wanting to have a second thing where they would have to watch 20 to 30 films just to know what happens in the 31st film. I don't think people want that. I think it's completely okay to have everything on different timelines. And and a good example of that is really DC and their animated movies. The animated movies at DC are actually very good. If you haven't seen any of them, I would recommend Under the Red Hood. I'd recommend, uh, God, the Batman, uh, Batman Returns, not the Batman Returns, uh, the God, what is that move? Oh, man. I'm, I'm, los- I'm losing my nerd cred, guys. Uh, Doom is another one I'd recommend. All-Star Superman. There, There's a Batman one that was released a few years ago that's based off of a comic by Frank Miller, which is really good. Uh, and I'm blanking on it. I think it's The Dark Knight Returns. There we go. The Dark Knight Returns. They, they, they separated into two, into two different movies. But that was really good. That's a, that's a really good movie as well. If you really are craving good DC movies, check out the animated stuff. They're they're actually really good. I, I would recommend those. Do I think that this movie will jumpstart the DCEU? I think it will make its money back and a little bit more, but I don't think this is going to be the thing that like kickstarts the DCEU into overdrive. I think this will just make money and that's it. I don't think it's going to do anything else other than that.